take a look at this you guys this is the ds x e tense it's based in paris Have you ever seen a car like this before? Personally, I've never seen anything like it. The left side looks nothing like the right side. It's mad. It's absolutely incredible. Let me explain why this is. There is two sides to this car for a very, very good reason. They're looking to the future. Now, when you look at cars in the future, a lot of brands are focusing on autonomy. But what they've recognized is that not everyone wants to just be driven around in future. There are some, like you and me, who still want to drive, right? So this side of the car is about driving yourself around, okay? So this is like the pure emotion side of the car, the wind in your hair, you can see there's no roof here. So it's about power, performance, exhilaration. That's this side. And this is how the door opens. It's like a butterfly driven around and this is a gull wing door a completely different door from the other side honestly this is awesome what do you think so far take a look at this this is a, a, a glass floor here so you can see all the way through and then this is a floating passenger seat Take a look at that. That is cool. So if you're sitting here, you're literally surrounded by the road beneath you. <laughs> That's crazy, you guys. So if you want to be driven around, you can be. This car is driverless. So you can be sitting in this little cocoon with you and a mate if you want, or you can have someone else drive you. I've been here for maybe like 30 minutes. Every time, we're actually in an area where there are tourist buses. <laughs> They're offloading people here in the center of London. And I think like literally they stay around for about 20 to 30 minutes in this spot just taking pictures of the cars. Look at this. Look at all these people. They, it, it, it really draws a crowd, this car, because it's so unique. I mean, what car looks like this? All right, okay, let me show you what's in here. Look, it's a little coffee machine. Take this out, have your little coffee. So this side is all about like relaxation, comfort, the best materials, the air is scented. So when the air is fed through into this cabin, you're, you can put in a particular scent that you like. This is a massage chair as well. You can see the feathers here on the side. You see this little diamond detailing. Diamonds are like a, a brand feature of DS. So you'll see diamonds all the way through this car here as well and on the tail lights. They have feathers here behind the seat as well. Now, you might ask, what's the deal with the feathers? DS, as I said, is a brand based in Paris. Paris is a fashion capital of the world and they want to bring in like the haute couture, high fat autonomous mode. Uh, if you don't want to, head to the driver's side, which is what we're about to do now. Take this baby for a bit of a drive. Pop that back in. All right, around to the driver's side. I just think this is so cool. Like you could cut this car in half and this would look like a car in itself, right? Because you've kind of got the, the, the front grille here and then you've got lights that take up this entire side. One of the things DS Automobiles concentrates on is this diamond uh, tail light here, or diamond lights. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this. I didn't get to see this before because I was driving. Oh, it's awesome. All the way along. City of Lights, Paris. One of the things they want to concentrate on is lights in all their cars. So we're going to see some of the coolest lights in their production cars coming out in the next few years. All right. Driver's side, where we like it best, right? The craziest thing is, you guys, this car is completely road legal. It is the craziest looking car you would never expect to be able to actually take this out 
on the streets of London, which is what we're about to do right now. All right. Ooh. Okay. If it starts raining, I'm literally going to have to drive around with an umbrella. <laughs> it is starting to like spit a little bit, so we'll just get a, we'll get a seat forward. There's a button here. Off we go. Okay. This is how you start the car, foot on the brake. All right, and there's a little button right here. Press that. These lights come on. Now it's on. Look, you've got a little green light there. Now you've got to see the lights at the front. Check this out. Looks amazing, right? Let's hope it doesn't rain. That's the name of the team. This car has the same electric technology or it's based on the same electric technology as the Formula E team that is currently the world champions. You know those bikes where one guy's like riding the bike and then it has like a little side compartment? It kind of feels like that, but on an elevated level. I know that sounds really weird to say, but just having this kind of like side compartment next to you feels like nothing I've ever experienced before and that's really the only thing that I can compare it to. Can you let me through? Thank you, I appreciate it. Cheers, mate. All right. Oh, that was awesome. What I love is that if you want this kind of exhilarating wind in your hair feel, you can get it. But if it's rainy and cold outside, you can kind of cocoon yourself in that section of the car. So in one car, you've got two completely different experiences. That is awesome. 